there. Welcome to the Complete Wedding Photography for Couples podcast. Do you know that the number one regret for most couples after their wedding is usually their photographs? Tammy will share all the knowledge and expertise she has gained over the years to help you get the very best wedding images from your photographer. The conversations on this podcast are going to help you understand how almost every decision you make for your wedding day directly affects your photographer. Tammy is going to give you the knowledge and awareness you need to create a nearly perfect position for your photographer to be in on your wedding day. And that means better images for you to remember your special milestone. Tammy Blaylock is an internationally awarded, nationally featured wedding photographer and published author. Since 2010, she has excelled in helping each of her couples capture beautiful, emotive images from their big day. Tammy wants your wedding day to be as perfect as you do. So tune in and listen up, because this episode's about to begin. All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. My name is Tammy, and I am your host for the Complete Guide to Wedding Photography for Couples Getting Married. I am also the author of a book by the same name, um, which you can find on Amazon. You can also follow along on my Instagram page or in a Facebook group that I have created exclusively um, for this um, purpose so that you can learn, continue to learn um, in addition to listening along on the podcast. We continue these conversations and a whole lot more, um, especially in the Facebook group. So please join, um, um, follow me on Instagram or join in on the Facebook group. The links to both are in my show notes. I am so happy that you're here and I want to take this time to extend a very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for tuning in to learn how to set your wedding photographer up for success and how to eliminate all of the obstacles and challenges that you didn't even know you might be creating for your wedding photographer. If you like today's tips, there are about a thousand others just like it in my book, again, available on Amazon. I believe that a photographer's brain power should be used to create beautiful, epic images for you on your wedding day, not by uh, not used to create or to solve problems that may or may not even be related to your wedding photography. Um, today is a very rainy day and um, since last week I have had workers here at my house banging around on the outside. Um, we are having our siding and windows replaced. So since they are not here today because of the rain, I am going to take full advantage and try to bulk um, produce a couple of, or at least record um, about three podcast episodes today since I don't have all the extra noise. Um, so I hope that goes well. I've never recorded three episodes in one day. So let's hope it goes well. Let's start with today's episode. Today's episode is a bridal session litmus test. Um, how do you know if you want a bri uh, bridal session? Lots of people don't even know what a bridal session is. So I wanted to start today's episode by just explaining briefly what is a bridal session. This is primarily known in the South um, it is a special portrait session dedicated to the bride in a couple. And it's, it's a portrait session done ahead of your wedding day, again, only for the bride. If there are two brides that make up the couple, they can both do this. The goal is to get some very creative portraits that probably couldn't be accomplished on a wedding day due to time the, the time constraints of the wedding day. The result is usually a large piece of wall art, a canvas or a print um, that is usually printed to be unveiled at the reception and it's usually dis displayed on an easel. 
It then becomes a piece of wall art that is hung in the couple's home or sometimes even the parents or grandparents home. It eventually becomes an heirloom because it is passed down from generation to generation. Um, sometimes it is even used at funerals displayed in the foyer by the sign-in book. And again, this is something that is primarily done in the southern part of the United States. But I would like this to become um, mainstream in wedding photography, something that's done globally because it solves a lot of problems um, with the wedding day. So let's get on to some of those things that it helps done. Let's take the litmus test for how do you know if you want or need a bridal session. So here are nine questions to ask yourself so that you know if you want or need a bridal session. Question number one, is your dress incredibly unique or important to you? If yes, book a bridal session. So was your dress custom made? Has it been passed down um, for generations or from your mother? Is there a piece included on your dress from your mother or your great grandmother's dress? Um, did you not think you could have this dress at the beginning of your wedding planning, but then something magical fell into place that permitted you to be able to get this dress? If so, again, you want to dedicate some special time to this dress. And what, how, how more, how more could you honor this dress than to have a special portrait session just dedicated to you taking special portraits in this dress. So have a special day um, with your photographer just created, just dedicated to having special portraits made of you in this dress. Question number two, do you want to take every opportunity you can to wear your dress and feel like a princess? If yes, book a bridal session. Traditionally, most brides only wear their dress on their wedding day. And a bridal session will increase that by at least one day. So book the bridal session. Question number three, are you shy or uncomfortable in front of the camera, especially when there's an audience? If yes, book a bridal session. A bridal session can be as public or as private as you want it to be. So again, if you are that very shy person, your photographer can rent a studio space or if they may have their own studio space to make this session completely private to help you get those very unique, um, and incredible authentic images of you in your dress without having to worry about having to do that in front of an audience. Question number four, do you want to take your bridal portrait somewhere other than your wedding location, um, the location that your ceremony or your venue is going to be at? If yes, book a bridal session. So logistically, you might not even, you might not be able to go anywhere other than your ceremony or your reception venues on your wedding day due to time constraints. But you might be envisioning yourself on a mountaintop or next to a raging waterfall or in the most peaceful meadows. Um, maybe even on a completely different continent than the one your wedding is taking place. A bridal session will allow for this because you can do it on a completely different day, a completely different week, a completely different month than your wedding is taking place. So if you have any of these goals in mind for your wedding dress, book a bridal session. 
Do you want to display a framed bridal portrait for your guests to enjoy on your wedding day that will later hang in your home? So we touched on this briefly in the introduction, but again, the answer is if yes, book a bridal session. So again, having a portrait session separate from that um, on your wedding day, this will allow for this. Have a separate bridal se uh, session, guys. Question number six, are you likely to frame, look at, or enjoy your bridal portraits as often as you are your engagement and wedding photos? If yes, book a bridal session. Um, set aside and dedicate a special time for an inclusive portrait session, especially for your bridal images. Question number seven, will you or your mom or your grandma or your great grandmother look back and wish you had more photos of you in your wedding dress? If yes, book a bridal session. Question number eight, do you want to ensure that you have the best possible connection with your photographer to ensure the best possible photographs on your wedding day? If yes, book a bridal session. I, I think you might be starting to get the idea of the um, default answer here. If yes, book a bridal session. Um, but let me elaborate on that answer. You're going to be spending the majority of your wedding day with your photographer. So if you didn't have an engagement session um, or a bridal portrait or a bridal portrait session is an and another excellent opportunity to make sure that your personality doesn't collide with your photographers. Um, and if you don't get along well with your photographer, you are not going to love your wedding day images. You're always going to feel the kind of the exact same way about your images that you feel about your photographer. So make sure that you love your photographer's personality. And if you discover that you cannot stomach your photographer's uh, character, then you should still have time to select another. Um, if you take time and you make it a priority to have these extra portrait sessions with your photographer ahead of your wedding day. Question number nine here, guys. Do you really want to test drive that dress to make sure it will hold up to your expectations on your wedding day? Or know if you need to make adjustments, um, like add shoulder straps or skip the underwear or add Spanx? Um, should you wear a silk slip? or order more alterations? If yes, book a bridal session. Um, and here's just some extra bonus tips. Having a bridal session will give you a glimpse of totality. And what I mean by that is not only will you get to see how your dress looks with all of the accessories that you have picked out, you will also get to experience how your dress fits and how easy it is to wear for longer periods of time. You will discover when, where, and how often you will need to tug, pull, readjust, or reposition parts of your dress or the underlying tool. You will find out if the tool underneath your gown skirt is going to scratch your legs. You will know if the bra you've selected will, will work or um, even if you'll be able to wear underwear, you will discover whether or not you can even breathe, walk, dance, sit, bend over, or basically anything besides stand straight up in your dress. You will know if your girls will pop out too easily or worse, well, I don't know if that's worse, or sink into the bottom of the bustier. And truth, truth, you will know the truth, truth, I'm going to say that for the fourth time, truth, you will 
truthfully know by looking at these images um, exactly how you will look in your dress. And if by chance you don't like what you see, you will have time to um, pivot and go get something off the rack and get another dress for your wedding day. Um, some of the other major benefits from having a bridal session is confidence. Um, having completed the bridal portrait session and give, getting comfortable with your photographer and in front of your photographer's lens will give you all of the confidence in the world for your wedding day. There will be no questions like, what do I do with my hands or where do I look? You will already know. Um, you will already be familiar with the posing tips and secrets your photographer has shared with you. You will be a portrait session seasoned pro. Um, time. Having a portrait session prior to your wedding day could actually save you precious minutes in your wedding day timeline. Being that, being that these portraits have already been taken, you can dedicate photo time to other things in your timeline, like a first look or a couple's uh, sunset, sunset creative session. Try and saying that three times fast. Um, a bridal portrait session will allow you and your photographer to really take your time at capturing these beautiful images and having a separate session independent of your wedding day will allow for a more relaxed session um, and it will be a lot less stressful having this outside of your uh, wedding day and creativity. An entire session dedicated solely to bridal portraits permits even more create creativity and imagi imagination to happen organically. Your photographer will be super appreciative, appreciative of not having to run and gun on your wedding day with the pressure to capture award-winning hero shots of you in your dress. And more time can be cre uh, dedicated to grabbing artful images of both you and your partner on your wedding day. Uh, so in closing, guys, I just wanna say that I love Bridal Session. It really gives me a chance to get to know um, that one half of my couple um, even better, hopefully a second time before the wedding day, because the first time I would hope to have met them in person is if I didn't meet them on their consultation day, um, is on that engagement session day. And it ends up resulting in even better images um, from their wedding day because they feel so much more relaxed and comfortable with my camera in their face. Um, when the rest of the wedding party sees that the couple guard is let down, and in this case, case the bride's um, guard has been let down, they will mimic that, which results in a lot more real photos and that is when you get all those great, candid, photojournalistic documentary, documentary, I can never say that word right, documentary images, documentary, 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 yeah, documentary images of your wedding party being their authentic selves. And then this, this behavior then carries over to the ceremony and the reception and the dance floor when all of your family and guests sees the couple and all of the wedding party getting really comfortable and relaxed and being just crazy and real in front of the camera. And everyone is like little copying Little, like little copy machines doing the exact same thing in front of my camera. And I, I don't mean um, repeating actual behavior. I mean repeating um, the level of comfort 
and the level of relaxation, the, re, the, the level of um, letting their guard down and letting those walls down to capture those great images. I highly recommend having as many portrait sessions with your photographer as you can afford prior to your wedding day. The more, this way they are much more like having a friend, a great friend show up with a wedding camera and less like a paid vendor. And this means the better um, images they will be able to capture. I promise guys. If you ever have a, tom a topic you would like me to cover, all you have to do is send me an email at Tammy at atagirlphoto.com. That's Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y at A-T-A girlphoto.com. You can also follow along on my Instagram or on my Facebook group where we continue these conversations and much, much more. The links again are in my show notes. Um, all you have to do is search for the Complete Guide to Wedding Photography on Facebook or Complete Wedding Ed as in education um, on Instagram. I would love for you to, to subscribe and or leave a review from wherever you listen so that I can reach um, as many listeners as I can to help more couples have better wedding images. You can also hit the support the show link at the bottom of my show notes. If you want to know more about my book, this podcast, or my wedding photography, all you have to do is log on to completeweddinged.com or atagirlphoto.com. Again, all the links to all those things are in my show notes. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you have an outstanding day. I will catch you next time. Adios. Thank you for listening to the Complete Wedding Photography for Couples podcast. We hope you enjoyed your time and we hope that you learned something to make your wedding photographs better and your wedding day less stressful. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts so others just like you can set their wedding photographer up for success. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you again during the next episode.